What I wanted to talk about today in the CircuitPython Parsec is how to download the latest build of CircuitPython up to the minute build using our Amazon S3 uh, site. So why do you want to do this, first of all? If you take a look at uh, this, SynthIO. SynthIO has been getting a lot of work. Jepler has been doing a lot of work on it. So he's updating it and he's uh, getting a, a merge of it into CircuitPython pretty frequently. But that takes a while to find its way into the big releases that you find here on the downloads page of circuitpython.org. So if I go to this downloads page and I do Feather RP2040, I'm going to find the 8.1.0 and even an 8.2.0 beta 0. But if I look back at uh, this one from Jepler, this is newer than those. So what I can do is scroll down a little further to this absolute newest section. And it says I can click on this to browse S3. That's our Amazon S3 storage. Uh, and this might look a little bit uh, weird to people who aren't used to old-fashioned internet. So uh, this is a directory structure. And if I go to the language I want to use, I'm going to use English US, this E-N-U-S. I'll click on that. And now I get a list of all of these latest releases. Oh, in fact, this, this beta is new enough that I could have gotten it from there. But until... Uh, maybe an hour ago, the one right below it, that was the newest one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and grab that one, let's say. I'm not grabbing the beta, but I'll grab one of those, any of those, grab a UF2 file, uh, and then I can go to my finder and grab from the downloads folder. You'll see right here, here's the UF2. Uh, I can go ahead and put this into uh, boot select mode. I missed the button, tiny button. And that's going to show up now as the uh, boot drive, the RPI RP2. Now I can drag and drop that UF2 that I downloaded onto there. It'll take a minute to copy over, and then when it restarts, it'll be running CircuitPython, and it'll be running the version I want. This is a really great way to grab uh, up to the minute, or pretty close to it, merges of CircuitPython to get the latest features. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is things like the LFO and other SynthIO features that I want just aren't in those big uh, releases that take a little, little while to, to get out there. So if you want to grab, grab that really new stuff, head to the download page and then find this link right here. Browse S3 and that'll take you right to uh, the language page to grab the CircuitPython build that you want. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.